This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Guys, therapy can help you find what matters to you so you can do more of it. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash PD today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash PD. E26, episode 26, play date. Who wears, who wears 26? Um, don't, I think Le'Veon Bell. Yeah. Yep. Right? I think so. On the Steelers, at least. Yeah. Le'Veon or, Bell episode. Uh, my my sister in middle school. My, oh, I was going to say that, but then I'd be like, <laughs> he might be a little freaked out that I know that. <laughs> How deep did you dig? How do you know that? What? I don't. Oh, yeah. I was zoning out. Well, I was looking at your mic. I feel like I can't hear you very properly. You can't hear me very well? That's a, a little bit closer. Sorry. Um, what were your guys' numbers like in sports? Uh, I was always... I liked 11 or 21 yeah, because of Ladanian Tomlinson. I wore 21 in lacrosse, and I think in middle school basketball, I wore like 24. Actually, I, I forgot. Then I was seven in my basketball yeah. career because of Carmelo. 21, 21 was uh, just the end of my gamer tag. Like it was JJ Kelly 21. And so when I got, dude, I need it. I keep fucking just putting leap myself it, on the bus. Leap yeah. it. Um, actually, do believe it. <laughs> and, uh, and so when I got when we picked jerseys, I I got a shitty I had a shitty number until like middle school because before it was like uh, it was just you get what you get yeah and, and you I don't got, get upset I got seventy six like three years in a row that's a that's like an offensive lineman it's just like the like it could, <laughs> yeah. it could not be a worse number kind of patriotic though if you think about it that way yeah I remember my buddy Garrett had like a shitty one as well but he was. He like made it look cool, which was cool. Okay. You know, like in hockey, like forty three is cool if it's worn by like a sick player. Like he had yeah. like he had like seventy one in lacrosse, which is like a we- a weird lacrosse number, but it looked cool in middle school for some reason. Yeah, I feel that. If you're good enough, you make it cool. Yeah. No matter what. That's why my number never never really I <laughs> pulled I that just off. wanna get this out of the way. I c- put this fit on today and I'm aware that it looks I'm aware that it looks insane. I don't think it looks insane. With the facial hair, it looks insane, and I think I'm gonna part ways. I actually, I had a really, I've had a fun couple of weeks with this, with the soul patch. I uh, think it's time to go back to just mustache. I like it. I don't know. It's don't getting it too crazy. long, and then I'm gonna have to like trim it, and then I'm the guy who's trimming his soul patch, and yeah. that's a whole other thing. <laughs> you know what I Once mean? Once you become the guy who's trimming his soul patch, yeah. it's game over. There's yeah. no one who's ever trimmed their soul patch and done anything of substance with their life. Except well, for Howie Mandel. Some, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what uh what what have you been up? You were in Boston? How's that? I was in Boston and then I was in New Hampshire. We went on like a little ski endeavor with uh the lady and her friends bro, and uh bro can't say ski trip. <laughs> you like you're like ski. Well, cuz I didn't I didn't ski. So I oh. was like I was ski adjacent. Why didn't you ski? You My skis one. were in Maine and like I didn't want to drive to Maine, yeah. get my skis, come back. I also just didn't really care to ski that much. Yeah. So uh, there were her neighbor, her neighbors are these three guys that uh, cool guys. We've kind of forged a friendship and one of them, Ned, and I just went into the lodge and drank from noon until like five. <laughs> That's um, awesome. And it wasn't, it was, it was like barely a lodge. You know, those, have you ever been to like a really rinky dink? What mountain, mountain was it? It was Black Mountain. So like I had never even New heard Hampshire? of it. New Hampshire? Yeah. I mean, And uh, yeah. we just sat at the bar. One guy came up after a couple hours and just started playing his guitar. Mm-hmm. Like clearly, That's awesome. clearly they had talked about it beforehand. It wasn't <laughs> like he just did this out of, but he was playing Jimmy Buffett. So it was like a weird thing where we were watching Premier League soccer and we'd kind of like gotten into this cold environment and then this guy just starts playing margaritaville and everyone turned around and was like what the s is wait this guy? you last episode you said the person uh, yeah. you were gonna oh now you're gonna take this weekend was jimmy buffett yeah i guess i did say that, that is pretty strange yeah. it's kind of sick he played uh yeah he played margaritaville and then he just got into all the like singers and songwriters classics it was a great vibe that's awesome i had uh on saturday night i was in we were but we played we played secret hitler uh great game fantastic game a lot of yelling and ruckus whatever we were outside on like my front porch like the whole time i was like we might have like the neighbors come over and be like what is this game it's, secret hitler it's a board game kind of but it's like a social it's kind of like mafia-esque or something but uh you have to like basically trick the other people that you're not 
a fascist. Yeah, and you're all, and it's just a lot of like, it gets heated and a lot of yelling. And it was with like a bunch of like work people who are all like really competitive. Uh, I've only played with you and and other people at this company. I've never heard of anyone else that plays it. And I didn't, I don't, I know it's, it's very popular. I'm just yeah. saying like, I've only played it with you guys and you guys are the only people that talk about it. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, we, we played a bunch of college. Anyway, we're being really loud. Nothing happened, whatever. Later in the night, I put like music on. It's like getting late. Uh, neighbor comes over. In it's like you know turned into the wee hours of the morning at this point. Things are kind of winding late? down. I think it was like it was too late to be playing. It was like two or three probably. There's a difference between two and three. Three, two is like hopefully this guy wraps it up. Three is like come on, guy. Yeah, I don't know. It was regardless. Yeah, it, it doesn't too even. Late. He. It was too late. It was like totally like we were in the wrong to be playing music outdoors at that point. The guy, like the neighbor, kind of leans up on the fence. And I like walk over. I was like, never met the guy, by the way. This guy lives right across the way. And I was like, hey, man, what's up, man? I'm Will. I live here. He's like, oh, I'm Jack or I don't know, whatever his name was. That was a random name. No. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he goes, like, what kind of music is this? <laughs> and I was like, I think it was like Tyler Childers playing at that yeah. point. I was like, oh, you know, it's like some, some country, folk country kind of stuff. He's like. Dude, I live right across the way, and my the music is absolutely piping through my window. And I was like, "Oh my god, I am so sorry. We'll we'll bring it inside. We'll take the music off." Like he's like, "No, I don't even really care. It's just like this music sucks." He was like, yeah. "Why are you oh. playing this kind of music? That's like, hysterical. what is this?" I didn't and I was know like, he was going there. I thought he was enjoying it." No, no, he was. I was like, I was like, "Oh my god, can I like?" Can I, like I'll, I'll just turn it off. Like I, I was just very much like, there's no way he came over here to tell me to change the genre. It's that'd three be in the morning. funny if like, he came over and he was like requesting to cue some songs. Yeah, <laughs> but it was insane. He was just like, no, you're fine, dude. Like I, you're having fun. I get it. I don't mind. Just like, can you play like a different kind of music? And I was like, <laughs> I'm just gonna shut it down. I don't want to. I don't want to be like sitting there like, is he liking this one? Yeah. Like, <laughs> dude, insane though. Insane move. We had a similar. A similar situation this weekend. There were uh, basically like the the person's house we were staying at. Their their family has two houses right next to each other. Yeah, it's like um, her cousins were staying at one, and then we were in the other one, right? Okay. And the cousins were all like older guys, like like uh, or sorry, like two or three years older than us. Nothing crazy, but like a big group of them. And uh, one of them, we were all chilling and one of them is just black the kid that was on ox was blasting like drill rap music and i made a comment to the guy next to me being like because you could tell no one was vibing with it with it i was like this is pretty crazy that he like landed on this kind of music and the guy was like yeah and the other guy who was on ox heard us and was like oh do you guys want to play music and we were both like yeah and so he got off ox and i got on and queued up like eight just like smash hits in a row and the rest of the weekend, every time he saw me, he would come up and be like, ah, you took my ox. Is <laughs> <laughs> like, clearly like, not okay with it? He was so mad about it. And uh, it was just like very awkward. I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. It just was there. What, what we were listening to earlier was not the, like we were watching Surf's Up and like there was like kind of supposed to be like ambient music in the background because other people were having conversation and like yeah. playing cards and stuff. And he was just like hammering, you know, like waka flocka. We were like, all right, let's. Kind of respect the move, but yeah, you got to know when to yeah when to read the room a yeah. little bit. Should we uh, should we pitches or cringes? Should we give a roadmap? Now I'm now I'm expecting a roadmap. All right, ready? Here's your roadmap. <laughs> you you were like you were like I mean I guess I'd do yeah. a roadmap <laughs> if, if everyone else wanted me to. Um, all right, here's your roadmap, guys. We got some of your pitches. We got our pitches. Then we got. Two, potentially even three, am I the assholes? I think it's more like two and a half, am I the assholes? Because Lauren said she read one. It was like, like one of the submissions was very short. It's very, very. It's, it's like, like a, a sentence. sentence. Then Will and I are gonna draft um, uh, snowboard tricks that don't exist, mm -hmm. which I'm excited very excited about. about. And uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna read some made up like signs that would be in like a. A mom's house, you know, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. more wine, like well, yeah, uh, it's wine o'clock somewhere, yeah, something, <laughs> yeah, 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 stuff like that. A lot of really fun stuff, and then I think, I think that's kind of it. Yeah. Speak personality. Oh yeah, and then we're gonna do our our usual 
personality segment with a lot of fun stuff in between. And I got a little fidget toy this weekend yeah. that everyone's Ooh. pretty excited about. Why'd you just lie about when you got it? <laughs> uh, can you not fucking do this right now? I'll, Will went I'll and got that. Up. Will went and got that 30 seconds ago. 30 seconds before recording and for some reason felt like uh, if you got it if you did you think if you got it li like longer ago it would give it more validity no keep going <laughs> keep ruining my fucking day <laughs> i just don't I'm understand so fucking I, just, sick of this shit. I just don't understand why do i come here every week just for you guys to <laughs> rattle me like a rattlesnake and <laughs> I just, Why was I actually like, crying? Yeah, I just really want to. I want to understand. I want to understand why you. Why I you misspoke. <laughs> All right, Lauren. Let's hear. Some, I misspoke. Uh, Next time you misspeak, I'm gonna go on a fucking <laughs> ten minute rant and make you feel like an idiot. Just, I, just, Bitch. I was trying to rant. I was just. I just thought it was Fucker. very funny that you Fuck like. Sucker. You knew you got it today. I misspoke. <laughs> okay. We, we had just talked about weekends. We had just said what we're going to do this weekend. And I said, I also got this fidget spinner. And I actually said this weekend instead of today. Ugh. So fucking grill me, tie me up, hog tie me on the Empire State Building, and <laughs> slap my pants around like a gym jab on Christmas. Come on. All right. Enough of that. Is, are gym jabs that thing that would it would make the L <laughs> yeah. put, your, put your face? That's really funny. Gym jab video. Wait, could, what is that? It's like you could take a you could take photos of all your family and it would make you them look like you would like you an elf. Dance like elves. I don't know why, but that just made <clears> me <throat> think about that weird contraption that we'd play with as kids, where you'd like put your hands in it and the needles would like come. Yeah. out. Oh, that was a blast. I don't know that's why. Really, really I thought that's what you were talking about. That is, why? I I don't know. It's just what my brain thought of. There was a, uh, at my orthodontist uh, office, there was a, like... You had an orthodontist? Yeah, did you not? No, it's just surprising. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have straight teeth. Come on, get out of here. I, um, just, had to, I just had to get back. At my, I didn't do anything to you. <laughs> <laughs> at my orthodontist office, there was like a big magnet wall and like different shoots and like ladders and stuff. And you would create a course and then you drop a ball in it and it would like mm. do the, that's very fun. it was a fucking blast dude we had a an n64 yeah i was just gonna one up you but i decided not to because it feels like yeah, an n65 <laughs> <laughs> no there was like a there was, 60 there was like an xbox in there but it had like none of the games that you would want n64 is better than an xbox uh well i mean it's just like nostalgic yeah, yeah, like yeah, you're yeah, not gonna have yeah. like you know what i mean you're not gonna i guess you're not sitting down and playing like more than a couple minutes. Yeah, so it's like fun to have. Yeah, okay. I got I, I. You know what was funny about orthodontist? I remember my brother. <laughs> we just, we, uh, my brother had braces and he like hated having them. Yep. And like when he he had them until he was eighteen years old. Oh. And when did he get them? Uh, I don't know. Like in high school at some point, I guess. It sounds like you had a like you had a bad orthodontist. Uh, like it, or, how is it taking? It, this long? I get no. I think yeah. I don't know what happened, but. The mo the day he turned eighteen, he drove to the orthodontist and he could legally demand that they take them <laughs> off. So like they like weren't done, but he was like, "I'm so fucking done with like I can't be a senior in high school with." Yeah, yeah. So do you ever do you ever put your retainer in after like a couple couple weeks of not wearing it and it like hurt so bad that it was kind of good? Uh, never was good, but really? it hurt so bad. Yeah, I remember waking up and like putting it on, and being like. Yeah, like, I've been a bad boy. <laughs> yeah, I deserve this. <laughs> no, I wasn't like. I just remember waking up in the morning. Like, it was funny how sore your your mouth could be. Yeah, you'd be like, this. I, it definitely shouldn't hurt this much. <laughs> like, I. You know, my dentist's name was Doctor Lip Tech. There we go. <laughs> that like sounds like yeah. like like a lip tack Doctor, sounds like a dental. Doctor Lip Tech. Yeah, <laughs> mine was Doctor Shams. Dr. Shams? Shams. Shams. Dude, I hate, you know who I hated more than anyone? She was like number one <laughs> villain growing up was the lady at the front desk at the yep. dentist's office. Yeah. I, I remember she would get like like unprofessional like in her scolding of me. Like, I yeah. remember she called, like after work one, or after school one day, I like got a call. I was like, well, it's Jane. Like, where are you for your, <laughs> for your appointment? And I was like at Waffle House with my buddy. So I was just like, oh, I got a big, I got a big thing came up. I can't go. And she was like, What's your thing? Tell me. Seriously. Yeah. What do you have? Because I think you're, you're lying like, to me. You're and like, I was like, what? 
Jane, you can't do Jane, that. Like, Jane, we're not this close. Yeah. Like, if I say I'm not going to be there, you just got to eat that. It's always really <laughs> funny when people get too comfortable with you in that sense yeah. too early. It's like, it's one thing if we get too comfortable and we're like really buddy buddy early. Yeah. But like, we had a, we had a, uh, we were like trying out a new like babysitter or nanny when I was a kid. She was only there for like a couple weeks because of this, but like, remember like she, she, she would like pick my sister up from school and had like an old Volvo, but it was like completely fine. Like there was nothing, it didn't even cross our mind as like children that like what kind of car she was driving. Yeah. And she would always be like, you're embarrassed in my car, aren't you? My sister, my sister would be like, what? Yeah, would be like, no. <laughs> and she would be like, you're fucking embarrassed of it, aren't you? And my sister would be like, I swear I'm not. And she was like, you're, li- you're a little liar. <laughs> Like, she wanted it. It was like, <laughs> why do you want me to be the oh ass of your car? I a, you go. I was just seeing that a babysitter once, like the first time. It was like trial run. Like, yeah. is this gonna work? Took us down a one way street, and just the wrong way, and just started going fuck, fuck. Yeah. fuck. <laughs> and she was fired that day. Oh God. I also have a babysitter story. Oh my! I God. was probably like seven, six or seven. Yeah. I remember it was just me. My siblings weren't there. We were playing in my basement. <clears throat> and I wanted to play like princesses. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be the princess. You're going to be my maid. And <laughs> she started bawling her eye, like crying. This is like an 18 year old girl. Yeah. She started crying. How old are you? Like six or seven. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. Kind of classist of you. The babysitter is your maid. Well, yeah, I don't know. No, I'm just. I was like, okay. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. It was so. She started awkward. crying immediately. No, she was like, you can't do that. And like yelling at me. Yeah. Isn't that bizarre? I had the coolest babysitter growing up. Her name was Haley Thompson. H.T. And, uh, like, everyone, like, she was, like, known as, like, being, like, a sick babysitter. Like, all, <laughs> like, 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 like she, also, she also babysat my friend Chris. Mm. And, like, when I found out that, like, we weren't her only gig, I was, like, <laughs> furious. Because, like, I thought she was, I thought she was, like, essentially, like, part of our family. And yeah. then I found out she was, like, cheating on us. Yeah. Um, one time, one time, um... She would drive us around, and she I would put my butt out the window, and then my friend in the front seat would scream at people and go, it's a full moon, and they would look over, and it would be my butt. Super fun babysitter. She let you do that? Yeah. She like It, she, it was like her idea. Wait, that's... We used to... It's uh, almost like... No, 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 no. Yeah, it, it was, was her idea to have you take right. your little boy Don't, butt out? We're I not, think you're reading into it. Yeah, you're reading into it too much. We used to we used to prank call our next door neighbor, Brian Cunningham. I don't know why I'm giving... I'm giving full names today. Whatever. They, they, no, don't, no, they you, wouldn't care. First, we, you always do that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, but we would call him, and this was back when like they had the landline. Yeah, yeah. It's like we'd star six, seven on the landline, and he'd pick up, and I'd go, chestnuts roasting on an open fire. And we'd do this like every week for like weeks, and he would sit and like listen to it, and then be like, "When I find out who this is, like, <laughs> like I'm gonna fucking." He had no idea. No idea. That's a prank of the century. That's yeah. such God, a funny. Got his ass. I love that. All oh, right. I got. I'm just. I'm just flooded stories. with stories yeah. of like babysitters and stuff. <laughs> this is the babysitter. I just remember I, we had this one babysitter who was like a dude, and uh, it's always too weird. No, the dude ones were cool. Well, yeah, ours. Was, he let us eat all the freeze pops. Oh. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> like, like we had like a fridge in the basement that was like backup reserve of like treats and stuff. Yeah. And he took all the whole box of freeze pops and we just went through all of them. My parents got home and they were like, we were like jumping off of the garage <laughs> roof and like pulling. One of you like <laughs> stuck to the ceiling yeah, like Spider-Man. Like weeding the garden <laughs> proactively and stuff. <laughs> like, uh, what did you give them? Yeah. I also one time when I was a little kid, I found <laughs> in the basement our stash of gummies. Yeah, like little uh, fruit snacks. Yep. And there was like, I had like a Harry Potter set up under the stairs that wasn't like, I didn't live there. I had like my own room too in like the normal, the rooms part of the house. Yeah. But under the basement stairs, there was. <laughs> You're really excited about the rooms part of the house? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my room was sick. The whole. All right, all right. Well, tell the us the first story. The whole wall was painted like the solar system. How many freeze pops oh. you had? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. The whole wall was painted like the solar system. That's pretty, That's pretty like, cool. Like Mars was on one wall. Wait. Like they were, it was accurately measured. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Sorry. The sun was in one corner and all the plants were accurately distanced oh, that's really across cool. the whole that's really cool. room. Anyway. Go back to your other story. Oh, yeah. Me and Owen Wallace took all the fruit snacks and we took them into that little secret hideout behind the stairs. Yep. And, like Our parents just like couldn't find us for a few hours yep. and we ate all of the fruit snacks and it rotted my t- tooth out. I had to get a... I have like a crown on one of my teeth because we ate the literally entire thing of fruit snacks. <laughs> 
Uh, so, like, I still have it. Like, did you guys ever have, did you guys ever, like, f like screw up, like, really bad as a kid and, like, break something and, like, have to hide it? Uh, hide the thing? Or just, like, hide it from your parents, like, and you... Oh, oh, hide what you did? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I, yeah. Mm. What did you do, Lauren? Okay, I, like, punched... You a... said, yeah, you can... No, 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 I know, <laughs> I just was, like, I don't know if I want to show... I literally, like, I was so mad, I, like, punched a wall in my bedroom. Yeah. In my bedroom she, like, wall. Cover it up. How, how wait, strong what? Of a, how strong wait, of no, a I, child? I might have like elbowed it. I don't know. Yeah. I it's kind of like scary. No, yeah. I, I don't know what was going on with me. But then my little brother did the same thing, but he kicked it. So he he had like a tiny little foot mark in his room. <laughs> Jesus. And then he like, it's like an angry family. Yeah. What is going on in this household? <laughs> no, I actually don't know. I do not remember. Um, but I remember just like putting like a piece of paper up. Yeah. Jeez. And like covering it. I don't think I ever told you guys this. This is I think this is probably the funniest child, funniest story from my childhood. Um, we had a place called, you know, it's car dealerships. It's like the name of the guy, and then the yeah, yeah. So it was like it was called Pape Chevrolet. Okay. P A P E. And we're driving to our lake house, and and I was like furious about something. And um, my sister was like, you know, Pape is like the worst swear word. She's like, it's like we've been keeping that one from you because it's so bad. <laughs> And then they were just like fucking with me for like an hour on the way to the lake house. And I had just gotten a buck knife and I went into my room and it was like wooden walls and I carved pape into the wall because I was like, just like had to get it all out. And my dad came into my room and was like, like heard me like tussling around in there. It was like, what's pape? And, and I like told him and my sisters were just like, he, I told him like that the girls told me that that word and he was like, oh my god, like you're deranged. Like they thought I was like an insane. That's like yeah, that's like like you might have to go to like a Cape. an institution. <laughs> it's like the craziest advertising for that car dealership. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's probably still in that. I don't think you could. There's like anything you can do once it's like in like the wall, like the wooden. Wall. So it was just there. It was there for like art of the like the whole time we had the house. Holy shit. Yeah. Guys, this episode is brought to you by Southern Comfort. With an innovative blend of fruit and spices, Soko Whiskey is the original ready-for-anything spirit, satisfying on its own and ideal in any mixed drink. Southern Comfort is tasteful and approachable however you drink it and whoever you drink it with. Uh, we've actually got some product in the studio with us today. I've got the Soko Black and Will has the original. Will, what do you love so much about Soko Original? I love Soko Original because it uses an iconic recipe of sweetly spiced fruits mixed with a dash of whiskey flavor that has been populated. <laughs> <laughs> What's it been, Will? It's been popular for decades yep. in a category of its own. I read that somewhere, and I've actually got some of the Soko Black with me. Soko Black has a whiskey kick with a hint of sweetness that is suave and complex, but welcomingly simple to use in any cocktail of your choosing. No matter the moment, Southern Comfort is ready for anything. Packed with flavor, mixes with anything, and easy to drink. Next time you're at the bar, go ahead and order some Soko Sour Shots. One part Soko, two parts Sour Mix. They're delicious and guaranteed to keep the party going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into Am I the Asshole. That's hilarious. What about, or pitches, sorry. Yes, pitches. Okay, <coughs> first pitch is from John W. He says, howdy, Lauren and the fellas. What? Howdy, John. Long time listener, first time pitcher. Here is the pitch. <laughs> I like that one. It's just like I'm thinking like baseball. Yeah. Here's the pitch. Good morning, America. My name is Johnny Dubs, and I, like you, you get my best ideas when I'm in the shower. But I hate how when I get out, I often forget what I was thinking about after I dry off. So, ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the shower slate, and a waterproof tablet set into the wall of your shower where you can write or draw out your best ideas as soon as they pop into your brain if that is when you're in the shower. And the best part, it sends a PDF of your notes directly to your phone and or computer so you can take those ideas to the moon, baby. Love the pod. Peace out. I love that. J-Dubs. Well done. Um, sorry, I, he definitely explained this. What is, what's it, it, what's it made out of? It's like a... Um, it's just it's a, like an iPad, I think. No, it doesn't say the material. Yeah, I just, just I'm says... picturing like, a, I, for some reason I was picturing just like a, a dry erase board, but like they, there's no way it's That's what that. I'm picturing. There has to be more to Oh, that. I thought it was like, well, it's a screen. I'm assuming it's like a... He said slate, so I was picturing like almost like a stone yeah. tablet. The thing is, I wish like, I would like an, a, an extension where you can just like stick it into your brain and then, because like I feel like I'm in the shower and I'm just like eyes closed thinking about things. Like, I wouldn't yeah. want to have to go, like... It's hard to write when you're laying face down in the shower. <laughs> yeah. Hi, uh... Yeah. 
Yep. I don't really have. My, I'm I'm more of like static. Like I think the shower is when I'm thinking the least. Oh no, I'm thinking in the shower for sure. Uh, uh, the only thing that I think about in the shower is like everything like cringy that I've ever done. Oh yeah, all my nightmares come back to me. I say like like a lot of them are like uh, m- most of my shower is just me being like fuck. Yeah. Or like oh. You know we, what I mean? I know what you're saying. We I had Chester actually my roommate Chester came into the bathroom yes. We were we came up with a movie idea on sa- on Saturday that we're going to work on and we were like really in the heat of like the brainstorm and then I went and took a shower and he just came into the bathroom and we were just talking back and forth yeah on other I mean, opposite sides of the curtain like because we were like too red hot spitball yeah. into I love that I waste like the time I like when it, when your friendship gets to that point but also sometimes <laughs> it's like like I remember Peter when we lived together in, in Florida would like come in like when I was going to the bathroom like would come in when I'm like in the shower and like I'd like a glass shower okay yeah and he would be like he'd come in and be like Yo, like we're all doing this. Like, do you want to come? <laughs> and I'll be like, this, like, this could have one. This could have been like on the other side of the door. Yeah. But it's like, I like I didn't grow up with like brothers. I feel like brothers guys are like that more yeah. often. He like didn't understand that like maybe I don't want to be like talking naked. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love talking naked. All right, let's hear the second. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, John. All right. Wait, how many pitches are we doing? Uh, I was gonna do three. Okay. Okay. Next one is from Mason Goddard. Goddard. I feel like I know that name. No, same. I I thought I've read something. Goddard. I thought we had something from him, but he has no other pitches, so I don't know. Um, He says, have you ever wanted to try surviving on a stranded island but don't want the risks? Death. Yep. Well, my island theme park is a fully immersive experience that places you in a simulated stranding (coughs) by yourself or with a group of friends. You will be placed on the island with only the clothes on your back and you will have to survive for as long as you can. The island will be under full surveillance with staff and medics working 24-7 to pull you out whenever you use the safe word that stops the simulation. The only thing that can kill you is your ego. (laughs) Obviously, there's a a nice touch. Right? Obviously, there's a handful of waivers to sign in an oath that must be taken that says no cannibalism, but that's just standard for any theme park. <laughs> I like the idea that they couldn't jump in and stop you if you started cannibalizing. Would uh, love, wait, would love to hear how long. Yeah. Would love to hear how long Will would would reckon he would survive with his survivor knowledge. Oh yes, God! Love from Australia. You guys kill it every week. Let's Thanks, go. brother. I will say I uh, I don't know that i my my desire to be on survivor my love for survivor has nothing to do with the survival aspect Agreed. it's totally the social part where, like i think i can manipulate people but i always am watching that and i'm like I, I don't know i wouldn't know the first thing about how to find food or fucking well, they're, i mean they're really not they're really not eating anything other than the rice and like coconuts and stuff right I mean, it depends on the season. Like, I'm watching Fiji right now, and they have no rice. What? No fire. They're like, it's like a week in, and they have they've just been like drinking coconut water and eating coconuts, and like they fa- they've scoured, 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 scoured sca- scavenged, scavenged for pineapples and stuff. I don't know. It's funny that like pineapples are something that would be scavenged. I feel like if you found <laughs> yeah. one, if you found one pineapple, you're kind of in the clear for. They, that was like the highlight of the, the yeah. tribe season yeah. so far. But yeah, uh, I love that idea. I and I would uh, I would go. I, I would, would think I, like your buddies would be great though. Yeah, but it's a weekend thing. It's for me. For me, it's no longer than a week. Yeah, I, I mean, would, I would I would do like a Labor Day weekend thing, like like Monday to, or like Thursday to Monday. I think yeah. I think it would start. I want the option though. Like if it's going really well and we've established like a nice little civilization, oh, I want to just stay. Agreed. I'm yeah. saying I'm saying on Monday I'd be like. You're, yeah, yeah. Let's wrap it up. Yeah, that'd be a blast. Did you guys go camping a lot as kids? But I wait. I want to. I would last in my backyard two days. <laughs> you think? I mean, I'd like to say otherwise, but I think yeah. I think I couldn't. I wouldn't be able to sleep. I'd be exhausted. And yeah. Knowing I had the option to leave, well, I would right, just right, give let's, up. Let's let's think about this. Where are you? Uh, Me- Mexico. Like a Mexican island. Yeah, an MI. An MI. Um. So you have the you have access to coconuts. You have access to like, presumably some sort of fresh water source. Uh, you could go, I think two days is fair. I think you'd get really fucking hungry and really fucking tired. You'd yeah, like, get me out of here. Like I like <laughs> I think I could last longer than that if I had to. But I think like knowing that I could just say a safe word 
I would not test my limits. What's your What's your sexual safe word? Um, Rumpelstiltskin. Would be funny. Yeah, but I'm already <laughs> I'm saying that way too much in in sex that like they yeah would, yeah they would would... confusing. <laughs> yeah. All right, Lauren, let's hear our uh, third pitch. Okay, last one is from Alex <clears throat> Ingham. He says, "Pitch submission, Lauren. Please read this if you want to make millions." So my idea is Bluetooth piss or bliss. It would be some sort of device or implant that allows you to relieve yourself anywhere, anytime. The best part, it just gets Bluetoothed away. No more mess. Yeah, you can't. You just you phoned it in though. I'm on. I'm on board with the. I'm on board with like that idea. Give me some sort of uh, how or why. He, what's the What's the ethos of your company? I guess he's staying high level. High level. Yeah, but you need you need a little like Will and I stay high level. You need a little bit of, you need a little bit of. Uh, All right, Alex, give us substance. Give us some more. I like it though. I mean, I this is this would solve. I I mean, I've talked about this before. Like, my small bladder has a really tangible impact on like my day to day life. Like, I can't go to like concerts or sporting events and be comfortable unless I'm like sitting on the aisle. Yeah. Uh, I guess what like, I'm worried. I guess what I'm worried about is if we if we don't critique that one a little bit, then then we're opening the door for like, it's infinite money. You know what I mean? Where it's like, wait a minute, that's good. <laughs> that's something. We should unpack that one. <laughs> you're um, right. You're right. You know what I mean? There we All need right, a little yeah. bit more. But I like I like where your head. I like at. where your head's at as well. But I just think we need a, t- a, a tinge more. A tinge more. Just a tinge. Okay. What, what is a tinge in a unit measure? Like a thimble? I don't think that exists, does it's it? Like a tiny little amount. A tinge. A, a tinge? Yes. T-I-N-G-E? Yeah, pull it up, Lauren. Tinge. Google how many milliliters is a tinge. A tinge is not a thing. That's just a Yeah, it's a like it's like schmutz. It's like a thing. It's like a it's like a s- expression. Tinge. Tinge? Tinge means to color slightly. But we're get like it no, is. No, it just a, means slight, like a look slight. Look up yeah, tinge, tinge Urban Dictionary. I don't think that's a word. The ability to no, be no, fetched. No, 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 no. It's a thing. I probably like a tinge. I don't think that's like a I've word. heard my mom say it. Look, it's. Let's tinge. call my mom. Let's call my mom and ask her. <laughs> What's your mom's name? Susan. Susan. Oh, I punch. <laughs> Bleep that. Wait, what? You're making my job weird. Hi, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Will and I are... I I used tinge in a sentence, meaning like just a tinge more. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. a word, right? Okay. It's a, it's a like slang word. Yeah, yeah. You've, but you've said it growing up, like with me growing up. A yeah. tinge. Uh, can I just look it up now? It's we Googled it and it's not a thing. It's not a word. But like it is like so Lauren, like Lauren. Yeah, yeah, it means something There's totally different. Wait, listen. A tendency toward or trace of some color. Yeah. So just so a tinge more. It's it's symbolic. Yeah. It makes oh, a sense. small amount of just about anything. Oh, vocabulary.com That's is your what source. I said. Come on. When did you, dude? If that if that validated your opinion, you'd be like vocabulary.com <laughs> is the biggest source for all your. Of course. All right, love you, mom. Thanks. <laughs> Vocabulary.com is like an alt right thing. Miriam Webster say that tinge is a word. All right. Thanks. Yep. All right. Bye. Appreciate you. Yeah, get fucked, Will. Vocabulary.com. Vocabulary.com is right wing like, propaganda. Yeah, it's also like <laughs> Bernie, Bernie Sanders is a Nazi. Okay. Should we do Am I the Asshole? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got to do our pitches, brother. Oh, oh yeah, true. Right. Sister. All right. <clears throat> All right. I've got. Uh, it's cool. No, no, it's fine. Oh, you no, go? yeah, just go first every time. Well, get fucked. Sorry, that was mean. I don't go first every time. Get my back. He goes first every single mm. time. What is this something you guys have talked no, about? No, 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 no. <laughs> I've never, I've never noticed it until now. It was just I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go first today, and I go, all right. And then you go, all right. I got. You didn't say that. You, she, you Run, said all right first. as you were grabbing your phone. And I already knew mine on my head, so I was Whoa. like, I might as well just say it. Oh my! I'm gonna goodness. fucking burn the studio. <laughs> right, right, right. I'm gonna go fucking nuts. I'm gonna go hog wild in this bitch. Hog wild. That is such a funny word. Uh, Why don't you guys do rock, paper, scissors? No, no well, you, I, well, you can go first. No, I want Jack or Krusty to one. go first. <laughs> go first. No. All right. Uh, Lauren, read Am I the Asshole? Because Will and I aren't pitching. <laughs> I feel like we should stay on the 
Do you want to just do that? No, no, he's joking. All right, I got the gas. I got the. I think I'm gonna call it the gas spot. <laughs> the gas spot. Gas bot. Bot. I feel like yeah. that's a uh, thing. Um, are you tired? <laughs> that's a thing. Are you tired? Yeah, you don't even know what it is yet. <laughs> it sounds like a restaurant in Chicago a, or something. The no, gas. That's a gastro pub. <laughs> I can assure you, you've never been to the gas spot. Anyway, the gas spot is long for it's long for the G spot. That's what your G spot's called. Is your gas spot? No, mine's called. I got a special name. Harriet Crindle. Um, are you guys tired of <laughs> Rumpelstiltskin? Oh my! Oh my god! Oh good. my god! Oh, fucking damn it! All right, all right, all right. You ready? Are you? How tired are you guys of like? Uh, getting in your car to go somewhere and being like, ooh, I definitely don't have enough gas to get there. I should have filled up earlier, but I was like lazy. Yeah, it happens all the time. Well, all the time, right? Yeah. I mean, I have a car, but if I did, yeah. So it does not happen all the time. It has happened in Sometimes the Sometimes it happens. Okay. All right. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, That's I'll enough. Take, I'll take that sometimes it happens. Um, now, you don't have to worry about that because when you park, uh, you have a little thing called the gas spot, right? And it it ejects itself from your car and like wheels itself to the nearest gas station. It has Apple Pay. It has like your own Apple Pay on its forehead and it just like goes up, like scans it, gets like a couple gallons of gas and then like wheels back and like hops back in your car. That's awesome. And then when you get in the car, you're back at like half. But he's not doing it all the time. No. It's only if it's like, because like, you don't want to be, you don't want to be at like three quarters and the gas pot's like, he's not full. Yeah. It's only if it's like an emergency. I like that. I also like the idea that it's Apple Pay on your forehead. So if anyone sees it, it's like, oh, that's a gas pot. Go, go rob it. Go rob it. <laughs> like they just bring like squares up to it. <laughs> Wait, uh, did you guys know that you can actually pay with your face at places? No, yeah, I'm serious. Lauren, Lauren got like, Lauren just got scammed this weekend and is like, <laughs> No, no, yeah, no. I gave someone my ret. I gave someone my retina display. <laughs> no, there's this place in Venice, right across from Giada, and they. Had How would a, it know, Lauren? Grand Blanco. That's what I'm so saying. So if I walk in, no, as, no, no. if Other, I walk opposite. in as a stranger, what do you mean opposite? Cafe. Nope. Something. Let's like that one on the corner. Yes. I hate that place. Lauren, I got a smoothie there once. If I walked in as a stranger right now, and I'm gonna do this after to prove a point, and I say I want to pay with my face, they go, "We don't know who you are." <laughs> they, well, I, yeah, I'm what, not claiming to know. So what's how did going you pay on. with your face? I I never said I paid with my face. I'm just saying, did yeah, you know that that's a thing? Like I I think you probably would have to like have some sort of like account set up or something. But oh, I thought Lauren was saying she was like I went in and they let me pay with my face. <laughs> no, 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 no. Lauren's she just said saying she's pretty. She's like the guy. The guy was like your face is enough. <laughs> yeah. And Lauren's like they can let you pay with your face. And, and then no. she, yeah, she I like the idea like she walked out of her paying with her face, just like a bloodied like <laughs> skull. <laughs> Actually, I'd like my face back. I'll pay. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, that's pretty crazy. At Erewhon, you can pay with your finger. Which Wait, means- you paid with your finger? You're telling me if I walked in there without a... <laughs> <laughs> Pump the brakes. That place is like a known subscription place. Oh, that is true. That's like You know a, what I mean? Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, what's your fucking fantastic Why picture? Why are you looking to go? Uh, okay, I got uh, the free the the free. I the, got the freezer. The freezer. <laughs> it's way colder than the fridge. The um, we, it's the free agent uh office at work. Yep. So it's like at at your office. There's like one room, and it's just like full of free agents, and they're yeah. just they're just sitting there waiting to get picked up. They're just kind of getting paid like on retainer to be there. Yep. And then like if you like are working on something, you like need help, but like your normal coworkers are busy, you can just go grab a free agent yeah. and they'll help you. Or like if you don't have time to go into a meeting, but you need to know what happens, you can just grab a free agent and send them <laughs> in there, get sign them like a one hour contract. A one hour. Um, yeah. So it's like consulting, but it's on mo- moment's notice and they're in your office. Already. I love it. Yeah. I like it. It's pretty good. Right. Yeah. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Will, if you had an extra hour in your day, how are you spending it? You know, I could see myself taking a little nap, perhaps yep. perhaps going on a run. I don't know, but it can be difficult to figure out what to do with the time, limited time that you have in your day. And that's where therapy can come in and it can help you find out what matters most to you and how you can do it. Uh, I've spent time in therapy and it's helped me a lot. It's a really important experience uh, that can help you grow as a person, become the best version of yourself. Uh, learn positive coping skills, set boundaries, a lot of really important things. And, you know, guys out there, it can be 
tough to to open up sometimes and this you know therapy can be a, a big way to to help you get in touch with your emotions can't recommend it enough if you're thinking about starting therapy try better help it's all online it's convenient flexible works with your schedule makes it really easy to get the help you need learn to make time for what makes you happy with better help visit betterhelp.com slash pd today to get 10 percent off your first month that's better help dot com slash pd let's get back into this super fun episode of podcasting all right let's find out who the asshole is all right <clears throat> i'm gonna read the one from reddit first and then we will yeah. go through we're we gonna talk about how hard my mom fucking slam dunked on you she didn't she used vocabulary.com that's a known no she said that she went to merriam webster and then lauren did too both of those are state affiliated russian media so I don't buy it for a second. <laughs> Mary, I watched uh, The Hunt for Red October the other day, and I realized I wanted a submarine. I've never seen it. I, I fell asleep halfway through. So. <laughs> <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what it was about. <laughs> Pay me to go to the submarine. If you fell asleep, it was still September. All right. Okay. So back. Am I the asshole for letting my son get fast food and bring it into a wedding reception? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yes. Like, Wait, this me, is on Reddit or a this playmate? Is, this uh, is Reddit. Let me let me read. Okay, so the mom is writing this. My son, 22 male. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> wait, wait. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Game if changer. The, if the next three words aren't, or the next two words aren't, who has autism? <laughs> You are the asshole. Is a picky eater. <laughs> he might have autism. <laughs> My cousin was getting married and had a lovely reception with a nice buffet. Johnny wasn't a fan of what I was serving, so I let him leave. Or no, what was served, so I let him leave and get some food. Word spread amongst our family where he was going, and a few people asked him to bring things back. So he did. That's funny. Oh, we yeah, are, that's bad. Fuck, we were at a table near the dance floor, and you could probably smell it there, but nobody <laughs> in our immediate family had a chance had a chance problem. I don't know what that means. Uh, uh, Apparently, the uh, venue... Gambling addiction? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently... He's got a... <laughs> He's got a, he chance, a chance problem. problem. <laughs> That's hysterical, Will. Apparently the venue and the family of the bride were appalled, and I don't understand why. It was a great party, but he wanted something different, and other people did too. So, am I the asshole? Yeah. yeah. You're the asshole. Unfortunately, it's a hilarious move, and like... <laughs> it's if, so funny. If you're like, if you're like, you know, with the bride and groom, like, late night, you know, like, the party is, like, kind of... Yeah. The party shifted into something else, and it's, like, everyone's drunk, and the bride and groom are like, hell yeah, go get McDonald's. Like, that's a different thing. When the when the reception is, like, kind of just starting, and, like, other yep. people are eating the other food that, one, the... Uh, each plate at a wedding, like, costs the couple so much money. So, yep. like, you sat Let down... Let alone the food on it. Yeah. Well, yeah <laughs> you <laughs> sat down, you didn't like what they were serving, and then, like... I just slapped him in the face for basic in when huge got. yeah like you like I can't I can't even believe think like having to ask whether you're the asshole there like I feel yeah. like you if you do that it's you know you're being an asshole and you just are doing it anyway yeah you absolutely should just well first of all your kid's 22 so he's kind of the asshole I don't think it's your yeah, job you're not the asshole you you if he's 22 years old asshole. that's not your problem but there dude there you just there, don't eat I'd rather just has, the way she's writing there has to be something like uh, up with this kid he might have a yeah I don't know not something I shouldn't have phrased it like there's something up with him like there no but also like there's the, something down with the him. other people okay <laughs> the other people tagging along on the order is also a problem wait yeah, well that's so if he snuck if he like snuck out ate it by himself and then came back in yes. I don't really have the biggest problem with that it's that you created a movement and like yep. kind of like uh, you like one up them. On well, you're, yeah, you're almost exactly, but you're all, you're also yeah. almost saying like, like you're saving these people and getting them better food. Yeah, it's like, a huge insult. Yeah, like with all the work that goes into planning a wedding. Come on. Wait, can I read this last sentence I yeah. didn't see before? It says, or she had a she had an edit. Everyone yep. else who partook in the fast food did so because well, it was there and it tasted good. Blah blah blah. And also, time out. Time out. That's not what happened. She yeah. said. She said she the said others asked, asked if they could get something. 
So, but if that's correct and he went and preemptively got enough for everyone else, this guy's the worst. Yeah, this guy's already the kind of the worst. Wait, though. it also, as some people said, one or two chicken bones did end up in the floor of the venue. That was unfortunate. Oh, so you got KFC too. <laughs> this guy's a fucking madman. <sighs> Wait, it ended up in the floor? She, she just did one or two chicken <laughs> like, bones. This was like some sort of mad bones. scramble for the chicken. <laughs> Like how did it's it like a cloud of dust and then like <laughs> it does just, this the, food must have been ass, that thing it's like, the no, wedding food must have been terrible no it said it was really good f- i'm sorry there's a few sentences i didn't read it was actually <laughs> really good for wedding food it was a nice soup salad tenderloin barbecue beef pasta what, what else you what else is your fucking what else does connor want is that his name no but it's Johnny. Def- yeah definitely well, that was a made-up name it's definitely it's connor I, um yeah, dude, you also got KFC, which is so smelly. Yeah. You might as well. You yeah. Might as well. Yeah, no wonder. I was, I was wondering the part that was yeah. like everyone could smell it. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's yeah, dude. insane. You're a crazy person. Oh, you know what happened? You know what probably happened is he definitely just got the big bucket of like bone-in chicken. Oh. Because, it, because, that, <laughs> because that would answer like why... Like one, he yes, he got it for other people, but then two other people joined in because there was like enough. Yeah, I'm going to a wedding this weekend. Should I try this move, dude? Ooh, that's if fun. if a bunch, if I looked over at my wedding and a bunch of people were eating bone-in chicken legs <laughs> with their it's hands, like, when he just, got is worse than so what they were serving. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're a picky eater, but you like bone-in chicken from <laughs> yeah. KFC. Wait, if you, what do you think would be like uh, of any would be the most if you had to pick appropriate food to I think it'd be right. really funny if he came back with just a just one cold like foot long subway sandwich and he like ate it to himself Wait, that wouldn't be that s- bad. Like, what? What do you think wouldn't be that? bad? That's what I'm saying. Yes. Like, yeah. like I don't. That wouldn't like the smell doesn't cause a disturbance. It's just for him, and like he's eating it quietly in the corner. <laughs> I, I mean, would still be pretty hysterical if someone had a foot long at the way. <laughs> maybe a six inch. I'm trying to pick. I'm thinking a little Chick Fil A sandwich, like a little box. I think you just gotta eat it before you go back in. Yeah, that's the outside. crazy. This motherfucker walked into someone else's wedding with a bucket, bucket of, of KFC well, fried chicken and had the audacity yeah. to ask if they're Fuck the asshole. Guy. Fuck, Fuck that guy. person. I'm pissed now. Yeah. No, that's hilarious. That's Wait, awesome. where's this wedding? Well, I'm going to Birmingham, Alabama. What? Wait, I would say that's... that the the you would be you would just be bringing more of the same food. <laughs> yeah. Not in a bucket of chicken. What did you say, Lauren? Um, I was gonna say that's random because I was just watching a video on TikTok and this guy was talking about Birmingham, Alabama. What about it? Just saying that he brought. This girl, he surprised this girl on a date, and he flew her to Birmingham. And then they went to like Dolly Parton's concert. I don't. Oh, I saw that too. I don't know why I saw <laughs> that. Uh, yeah, but I'm going there on Friday. I'm going by myself, and uh, Who's I don't. Is it? It's my my old roommate from when I took a year off college. We met on Facebook, and he was a little bit older than me. We lived together, but we lived together for a year. But it was during COVID, so we literally spent every day together. Mm. And, oh, I uh, thought you were gonna be like we like we were roommates, but then we both got sent home. No, no, no. It was, you like barely know this guy. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> we were we were very close. Yeah, and I, but I haven't really talked to him in like five years, dude. Interesting. So I was I was kind of honored to get the invite, and yeah. uh, but I don't know anyone. Like I don't know his wife at all or his fiance. I don't know. What if it's just you guys, I only know the groom. He's like misremembering how close you guys were. It's, yeah. old. it's like I'm, a really I'm his best man. It's a really <laughs> intimate guy. All right, let's yeah. hear another "Am I the asshole?" Shall we? Um. Yeah. Okay. That was a good one. That was fun to talk about. That was a good that's one. an insane one. Well, I have another <laughs> like funny actual Reddit one, but I'll save it for next week. Why? Let's just do another. One. Unless you want me. I, yeah. Who, who I gives an ass. I want to prioritize the submissions because I feel like, like I want to create like an ecosystem of our own because I just feel like there's other podcasts that do like the "Am I the asshole?" ones from Reddit. So I just want to like. Yeah, but they don't know. Nobody knows. Yeah, yeah I guess. But it'd be um, fun to create. Yeah, let's, let's hear. Let's hear from the players. Uh, I'll read. We can. We can do a couple of these because they're very short. One yeah. of them is just ending a friendship when, <clears throat> Amber the asshole for ending a friendship when they start seeing someone you like and they hit it for two plus months. They hit it or they hit it. I don't know. They just hit it. Definitely hit, hit it. <laughs> I I heard it. Th- I heard it the way you heard. Hit. Like once they, they hit once it they've been them. hitting it Yo, two months. Am, that's I the, what... am I the asshole? Brother, straight up and. Beating them doonies down for two months now. Okay. Um, wait, say it again. Say it like, one more time. This girl is asking if she's the asshole for ending a friendship when when they start when the dating. friend starts seeing them someone that you like and they were just hiding it from you. You're- oh, um, okay. Here's the thing. So we we have to fill in a lot of these gaps ourselves. But let's well let's assume that the the girl writing in has told the friend 
ahead of time, like, hey, I have a crush on this guy. Yeah. Right? And well, they the wouldn't hide it if they didn't. That's what I'm saying. So the friend, the friend now starts seeing the guy, hides it for two months, and now she found out. I would say... It's the hiding it. The hiding it is, yeah. So no, I don't, no, I don't think you're the asshole. I think where there is a gray area is, uh, it, it, it's just someone that you had a crush on. It, it's not someone that you were dating. But I still, right. I still think that no, you're not the asshole for ending that. Really. I think if you like are hiding and like if hiding means like actively lying about it, yeah. If you're actively lying to your friend for two months, that's yeah. Bad. It's almost like that's the worst part. It's not. Yeah. Even, it's like, not even about the. Yeah. 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 Having you, having someone get with the person that you like is the worst feeling in the world. Yeah. Especially when it's a friend. Yep. Um, Sorry about it. Okay. Me and your mom. This other one. Dude, if you hit me with another classic rusty zinger, I swear <laughs> to God, I'm going to freak. Sorry. This, yeah, that's is like, this is strange. Um, <laughs> okay. For distant, am I the asshole for distancing myself from sister who has obsession over what? <laughs> Over unborn baby dolls. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Distancing yourself? No, you're not the asshole. I would get the way from that person because they're going. Bro, to... bro is acting like we know what unborn baby dolls are. <laughs> no, she, I think I think what she's saying is like is like she didn't want any confusion that it's like actual babies. Like these are. No, but the un unborn baby is in quotes. Unborn what? baby. Oh, like Google fetuses. Go no, I think maybe she means like stillborn. No. <laughs> I don't. What? I'm sorry. Sir. Stillborn, like, like, as in, like, it was like a unborn is usually what people like. It's like an abortion. That's what I'm. Oh, but isn't, st isn't stillborn the same thing? What the hell? No, stillborn is. Oh yeah, this is really weird. Oh oh oh, it's like the ones that are like s super real. Oh, that's creepy. What? No, these are reborn. That we must be what it a, means, though, right? Reborn. Yeah. Oh, it's, that's creepy. Um. Distancing what? yourself? No, you're not the asshole. Oh. To cope with wait, so I'm concerned. Oh, yeah. We need more context here, but yeah, I don't we think need wait, this exists. Some consumers of reborn dolls use them to cope with their grief over a lost child. I can understand this for like an actual legitimate no, reason. I can't. No? I think that that's still crazy. Can you scroll down to does yeah. reborn feel know. like real babies? Yeah. Well, who's? Why do we need to know that? We're gonna be on some sort of list. How accurate is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm already on all the lists. So I don't even care, but that is um, fucked. I don't, I don't think know you're the you asshole. Think, That's well. a little creepy. I think that I think mm -hmm. that you should. I, I don't, don't think, think that distancing the yourself from them is weird at all. I think that you should probably you should suggest to anyone around them that also they should. That creeps me out. I I'm like getting the creep. <laughs> Can we do a new one? Can we do a new one? That's why I didn't want to read that. Well, you did. You did. No one told you to. <laughs> no, no, that's. <laughs> Okay. You also read it, said, this is weird. <laughs> yeah. And then, then read it again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm dumb. I know why they're all so short. You can only do like a 20 yeah. word response. Yeah, yeah. I guess they could have DM'd, whatever. You know what we should do, Lauren? We should set up a Google, like a Google uh, responses thing yes. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't want to end on that note, but I think we have. To. Should we end any of that as well on that note? No, let's do one more. Should I just read the long, yeah. real one? Yep. Okay. Re okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> No, there was a long DM one. No, the one you sent was like the one you sent to her, <laughs> the her one, was just like a sentence. The one no, in the message requests. Oh, I didn't dig that far. That's what I, I that's I texted you about it. Oh, sorry. Wait, in hidden requests? Mm hmm Sometimes there's just a lot. It's like the third one, I think. Um no. I promise you, I was looking at it. Uh is it from a girl? No, it's from a dude. I don't see that. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Okay. Uh, should I say his name? No. <coughs> no. Unless he says you can. He doesn't. Okay. I think this is one of your Name him. About. Name him Ryan so, can Peters. Can I say what it starts with? No. no, Ryan Peters. Ryan Peters. Okay. Hey, y'all. I'm going to get right down to it. All this background is relevant, and there's a twist. And the see? last. See? Good. This All is right. What you saw. Yeah, I didn't read it, though. Okay. In the last three or so months, one of my old friends started treating me poorly and making snide remarks when we were around our other friends. Admittedly, over the past six months, I've grown or I've been a controversial figure in our friend group. What's important is that both me and others were very bitter and not cool to each other, but now we are in a rebuilding phase. <clears throat> anyway, this friend has been ver very rude and talking to other people about me in a negative light. 
I have largely stopped talking to him, that is, until yesterday. Yesterday, out of the blue, he messaged the group chat saying that he has decided to get baptized as a Mormon. <laughs> this is extremely bizarre as we have spent our whole lives dunking on Mormons. <laughs> he drinks and smokes weed and does shrooms and his best friend is gay. He also asked us if Wait, we all- Wait, time out, time out. Wait. Is he the coolest guy ever? He drinks, <laughs> smokes weed, and his best friend's gay? And he does shrooms. As a fucking rock star, first of all. Wait, does the church frown upon all those things? Yes. Mm, yes, very much so. The Mormons don't like gays? They... Correct. Yeah. Um, he also Mormons. asked us if we all wanted to come up for a party and then bait and switched and said it was a baptism after. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he doesn't really have a question at the end, but... <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, that's how it ends. Yeah. All right. So let's let's wait. Wait. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's think. Of, just, I think wait, you just wait, wanted wait. to rant. Is that just, just a yeah. story? Yeah. yeah. Well, let's think. I about kinda, also, wait, wait. time out. We, time out. I think what it, like we could fill it in by saying like, is he the asshole for like, for like not wanting to be a part of this guy's life? Yes. All right. But also, if you ever have like a cool story, we'll take those. Two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That just sounded like a fun like idea for a TV show. Uh. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like he's having, like, a psychotic break or something. Yeah, I think, unless his parents are Mormon, and if he's doing this on his own, he's just, he feels lost. And he thinks yeah. that that's the way out. Um, yeah, that's crazy. I, I know, I don't really know what to, like, do with that. But. It's a hilarious, it's a hilarious way to end it. It just, <laughs> yeah. it just ends. Uh, uh, I think that you should tell him, you should, you know you I should I think do? you're not the asshole, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're definitely not the asshole. I think what you do, what you do is, is you have to, you have to, you guys all have to, you guys loved dunking on Mormons. You need, what I think that means is like, just zinging, zat, like, yeah. You just need to come up with an A1 Mormon joke and say it to him and then show him and then get his gay best friend high on weed shrooms and drunk. Yep. And weed. then be like, this is what you're missing out on. Get his gay best friend high on weed shrooms and drunk. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if he's just doing it for attention. No, dude, that's way too... I mean, I would assume they're from Utah. A lot of those people are just Mormon. Yeah. Like, have you seen those high schools in Utah where they're just all Mormon? It's like most of But they're like trendy, dressed Mormon, like they wear cargo pants. Yeah. One of my best friends from high school is Mormon. How's that? She just got married. Great guy. I mean, it's, you know, we all grew up in our yeah. religions. Um, but, I mean, it's a definitely... Of the religions, a, a strange one to to pick if you didn't grow Late up in it. In life. It feels like a very like cultural like, you know, your parents are Mormon. That's you know what you've known kind of thing. Yeah. But yeah, like I know people that become like evangelical Christians late in life because that's that one's like easy <laughs> yeah you know what it, I mean? yeah it's like, like lower bar to entry yeah yeah like it's kind of like you don't really become a Catholic unless you were brought up catholic you don't really become yeah. like jewish unless you were brought up jewish like unless you marry in yeah but also like, this but this is like they're in utah like that's their Christian. yeah i guess that's like true. that's like the most common religion we yeah. also have no idea if they're in utah what if they're in just some if they're not in utah they're then not this utah, story is guy, nuts this guy's a madman <laughs> yeah um yeah you're definitely not the asshole yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i don't know how Seems you like would cool be it guy. wasn't even about you yeah. <laughs> all right should we uh should we do some drafts oh yeah or wait I need to ask you though, which one do you want to do first? Well, do you want to do signs that moms hang in their house, mm. or snowboard tricks that don't exist? Why don't we do signs first? All right, that work. Hit me. All right, I've got. This house has four walls for a reason. Break it down for me. Uh, it's just like you would look at it and you'd be like, mm-hmm, and then you'd like get like a few steps past it and you'd be like, Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I don't know what that means at all. Yeah. Like, um, I feel like a lot of those pillows, you're like, amen, and then you're like, I'm picturing, like, pillows, too, yeah. and, like, signs. Some of them are just things that happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, I'll kind of go off that. <laughs> we have three L's in this house. Laughter, love, and leave mom alone. <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's Maybe. good. <laughs> yeah. This is fun. I've got... Family means nobody leaves this house. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in that font, but it's really uh, menacing. Family means nobody leaves this house. We should yeah. make them, dude. We should. Lauren sell. texted us. To, did you not see this? Lauren was no. like, "We should make these and sell for Mother's, Mother's Day." Day. Yeah. Family yeah. means nobody leaves this house. Um, That'd be a good one. House rules. 
One, what mom says goes. Rule number two, there is no rule two. <laughs> That's good. You're That's welcome. That's good. I don't know why I said you're welcome. I meant to say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got never underestimate a family with a daughter born in October. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. All right. I got, I'm a boy mom. If they're not dead or in jail, we consider that a win. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I've got, that could be like one of the, tre- one of the things where it's like a trend. Like, We're boy moms. What's that? <laughs> Like the like, we're guys. Have you seen this? Oh, the video Angus made like a year ago. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got this house may be big, but we are family. <laughs> Same. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like oddly braggadocious, but it's like it also just like just feels like someone in like an AI guy or someone from a different country made it. Yeah, it's one of those. Have you ever seen those uh, pictures of people in Africa wearing like shirts that we clearly sent over there, and they yeah. they like don't know what it means. There's one that's just like. I'm not Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you ready? Yep. This mom loves three things. Her kids, Jesus Christ, and a stiff margarita. That's I guess good. all of mine kind of... That's kinda, like real. Yeah. Really. All of mine kind of depend on like you reading them in this voice yeah. that I'm doing, but I think I think we yeah. can make it with the font. I love it. Uh, I've got, we are homo sapiens. Nice. But, it, but so it, it's trying to be clever, but then it kind of just looks like... Yeah. 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 It's like a mom who, like, her heart's in the right place, but, like, she doesn't realize, like, how, like, kind of offensive that is. Yeah, yeah, Or, no. No, it's homo. She doesn't realize, she doesn't realize, like, how, like, dumb it is. It was just like, if you... I thought, for some reason, I was thinking you said homosexuals. No, no. I, sapiens. Yeah. Um, before I read my last one, I just want to say that I had a, a lot of honorable mentions that were, like, about, like, the lake. Okay. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I just couldn't think of. I just couldn't. Yeah. I wanted to incorporate the lake into it. I just couldn't think of any ways to Vitamin do it. Vitamin C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. SEA. Lake house one. A lot of the ones. Have you seen those vines of like kids reading their mom's signs at the yep. lake house? And it's like, life's better at the lake. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um. All right. My last one is, if you're reading this, bring mom more wine. <laughs> That's good. That's. I feel like that exists a hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yep. These are snowboard tricks that do not exist. Uh, I got the double foster care. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yep. yep. I don't know what it looks like, but it's... Yeah, I don't know what any of these look like. I don't know how I would do it. There were a look. couple of them that I wrote down like what it would look like, but... Okay. I've got the hard air switchback. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds it. tough as fuck. Um, I got the switch Helen Keller. So it's basically you turn your helmet around and you then you blast music in your ears so you can't hear or see and then you drop into the jump. I should have I should have thought of like clever. Mine all just sound like sound like cool ones. Yeah, I got the full tail full tail turbo fourteen sixty. Okay, that sounds pretty tough. I mean, if you fourteen sixty <laughs> in, it, it? in and of itself is pretty gnarly. Yeah, is that even a multiple of of one eighty? Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got the inverted taffy pole. I love that. Uh, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> you sounds you painful. Can, you yanking you, your own yeah, taffy? Yeah, you can you can probably picture what he's doing, but he's upside down. It's like a cheese bowl. Yeah, I, I almost went cheese bowl, and then I was like, I <laughs> forgot where that was from. Yeah. All right, I've got the front side cream soda. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I got the triple crucifix. Okay. You basically, in midair, take your snowboard off, and two other guys toss you their snowboard, <laughs> and, you, and you make a crucifix on your own back, and then you strap back in at the last second. That's amazing. I, I guess in hindsight, you, you, only, only, need you, only, need, yeah. no, you only need two. One other board. Okay, maybe it's just a crucifix where... You take your own board off, like put it behind your back like this, do a Christ air, and then put your snowboard on. That's cool. That would be tough as balls. Damn, I wish I'd thought of them like this. I know. This is fun to think about like what they actually yeah, look yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking names. Yeah. Okay, I've got the double McRib 1260. <laughs> you don't need to add how many spins you're doing <laughs> after. It's like that. What do you do? A double the, McRib 1260? Yeah, but like the double McRib is the trick. The 1260 is just how many times you spin while you're doing the double McRib. You think I know that? Yeah, I guess that's fair. Also, in hindsight, the double McRib would have to be like, to do just two double McRibs and do a 1260 would be like an unbelievably slow slow vertical rotation. With what do you mean? Is a McRib a move? I'm saying like if it was, whatever. So like a think. double McTwist 1260 is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, but like I don't know if that's whatever. Sean, Mc, Sean White did that. Yeah, but a McTwist, a double McTwist wouldn't result in a 1260, I don't think. He did a double McTwist 1260. Is that true? That's like the only snowboard trick I know. Okay. It was like, right. it was like he did it in the yeah. Olympics and it like broke the world or like 
right. Look it up. Look it up. No, come on. Yeah, can, can we, can we look watch? It? Can we watch? Look Sean up White? Double McTwist 1260. Is, is this, this the one where he's? Yeah. yeah. Is this the one where I didn't know that that's the trick, but I knew he did something insane that like they haven't tried. Have you seen? You know what like, the craziest part about this? He's wearing jeans. Double. <laughs> Do, no, McTwist. <laughs> McTwist. What am I looking? At? McTwist. Why? What? M Double McTwist. I said it. You deleted it. Type the same thing. 1260. Yeah. <laughs> The double McRib sounds pretty awesome, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait, why did I think that's what you were saying that whole time? Good no, video. Double McRib? That was what I said, but this oh, is the real trick. I get it now. You know what's crazy? In this clip, I think I just said this, but no one acknowledged it. He's wearing jeans. Like they're, Oh, that is very In this cool. Olympics, their, their snow pants were jeans colored, which is hilarious. Why do I remember that? Like, watch it. This. this was like the most maybe famous was... trick ever done. Oh. oh, this one isn't the one in the Olympics. Well, oh. oh, yeah. This is probably. I think this might be the first time he pulled Lauren, it off. Lauren, can you like skip? Just, just skip yeah, until yeah. it's like the thing. Yeah, this is like a documentary on it. <laughs> yeah, can you just get the trick? Yes, yeah, right. It's definitely that giant mound in the middle. Keep going. All right. No, no, no. Sorry. Keep. Oh my god. The mound, <laughs> dude. You do you know how to use a computer? Lauren has the never been on the line before. <laughs> <laughs> the mound. Oh my god. Why you, are you stopping? Why did, before why did you it? go way earlier than what? the the huge? Like, we, like you keep you getting to the viewing? part that we clearly want, and then you like, yeah. and then you go right back. there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Wait, I have tears. Screaming down my face right now. All right, this isn't even worth it. But <laughs> yeah, get out of this here. This is it. This oh, is it. This is double McRib. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty steep. Oh, he fell. Yeah, but it. So keep going. He does it in the. He does it in the Olympics. Wait, scroll down. Wait, look at my tears. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't. This okay, is, getting, I don't, this yeah, is like this, already pissed. I'm getting ruined. pissed off. Get man. it off. Get it Just out. Just turn it off. Get Just it turn off here. the TV. It doesn't matter. What are you doing? Oh my. Why would God. it be back? Why would it be back there? All right, my last one. Oh my goodness. My ba last one is the backwards cousin lover. What? Um, I I think it requires two people, <laughs> and it's like a tandem trick where like, like you flip upside down and like I grab you and like yep. we like land in like a standing sixty nine. We land together. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. All right. Um. I'm, I'm a little my last one, I've got the washboard 530. Yeah, that's pretty. Well, a 530, <laughs> a 530 would imply you landed 10 degrees short and like and like fell. <laughs> I don't know. I'd, Actually, that'd be sick. I never claimed I could pull it off. <laughs> yeah. It's only for a very specific rail that like is 10 degrees to the left down the mountain. I don't know what the numbers mean, dude. So it's like 180, 360, 547, 20, 1080, 1260. I don't know. Fort 14. 15 to 20. Yeah. I don't know. No. F no. Two, 16. 20. Ugh. Whatever. Um, 25. In skate, in skate 3, like the, it was like kind of presumed that it was impossible to do a 1260, like after the 1080. And I remember like came really close one time. Yeah. And like no one believed me. And then I got it in, I got it in, uh, I think it was called Danny's Hawaiian Dream. I'm pretty sure I got it once. What's Danny's Hawaiian Dream? It was like a DLC map. Nice. You could buy. Ew, right. well, wait, there's like a little hair with a little tinsel. <laughs> oh, it's from it's because I have fur line. I pranked the shit out of you. There. I'm sorry. Wait, Will, can oh, you throw me it. my phone? Um, I want to shout out the guy who gave us. Oh, oh, nice. Wow. Oh yeah. Who gave us the idea for the mom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because I saw that this morning and I was laughing. Uh, anyway. Oh, I guess we didn't. Yeah, we didn't give him any credit. So if he didn't listen to the end of the episode, he's just gonna be like those fuckers. I know. Wait, <sighs> uh, I'll DM him and tell him that. We're doing All right. That. What uh. Whose personality? Whose personality are you stealing this weekend? Um, I'm not feeling so hot right now, so I'm actually gonna go home like right after this. And uh, who's the guy that's always sick, drowsy? Is that one of the the dwarves? Drowsy, no, sickly, sickly, <laughs> what? sickly. Um, wait, he's like way more <laughs> gaunt than the other dwarves. He's like a huge bummer to have around. Um, no, who's someone that overcame like a crazy illness? Lance Armstrong. Um. <laughs> yeah. No. no. Wait. Come back to me. What? He overcame an illness to right. land on the moon. No, that's Neil. I'm talking Lance, the biker. Do you not know the difference? I know. All it's the a fifty. I know. For me, it's a toss up. I know all every, the differences. Every, every, every time, every time, every me, it's a toss up. Whoever came a big illness was hey, um, wait, what's Jesus. 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 Ryan. Jesus? Ryan. Lieber. He came back from the dead, dude. That is a pretty crazy illness. Ryan Lever or Lever? Ryan, Ryan Lever or Lever. And he, he's holding a <laughs> bottle of red wine in his profile picture, nice. and it just looks like a vibe. Yeah, that so. sounds awesome. Oh, yeah. Um, come back to me. Who are you going to, whose personality are you going to take? 
Um, well, I'm going to be in Birmingham, Alabama. Yep. For a little wedding. Are you going to be that guy that, like, when you're around a lot of people from the South, you take on a Southern accent? Well, I am from assimilate? I am from the South, first of all. So no no assimilation needed. But Charleston and Alabama are different types of South. Yeah. Um, You know, I don't appreciate that. You're going to you're going to take on Edward E. Lee's going back to my roots. Robert E. Lee, who's Edward E. Lee, his lesser known brother, <laughs> who's really bad at battle. No, I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do like I don't, I don't know. Bo Jackson, Bo Bo Jack Horseman, Bo Jackson, Bo Jackson, Martin Luther King. Yeah, well, <laughs> he did. I don't know. He was Birmingham bus boycotts. That was him. Uh, I mean, it was his. I think he be careful here. I think he went and participated in the bus boycotts. You know what's funny though is like that's not still going on, right? I can ride the bus while I'm there. Yeah, I think you're. I think you're good. Okay. It'd be really funny if he wasn't like he wasn't from there and he went to participate. So it's like him being there. Like, was it that they weren't riding the bus anymore? So he just goes there and doesn't ride the bus. That doesn't change anything for them. That's adding, <laughs> it's adding another person that wasn't originally from there. Who's now not paying? Well, I think he was like, I think he was like giving speeches and like he has to eat at some point, so he's still contributing the to the economy. Yeah, but maybe he's getting food from other black people. Pretty, pretty, pretty crazy that uh, the CIA killed him. Yeah, they totally did. Right? No, isn't it like they like came out and said it? They were like, yeah. I, was I, don't, I don't think they like announced <laughs> it, but I think it's pretty obvious. But now, yeah. but like now, it's like they're not like it's like yeah, we. Did, they I mean, did. it's like the same as JFK. Like they're never gonna like admit it, but they definitely did it. Um. Uh, Lauren Gow, I can't think about it. Um, first thing that I can think <laughs> of is I was listening to a podcast this morning about Victoria Monet. Do you guys know who that is? Time out. I think it might have been the Montgomery bus. Yeah, now that you said that. I don't even think that was Birmingham. Fuck, that's embarrassing. It's okay. We make mistakes. Uh, Victoria Monet won Best New Artist, and she had a very inspiring speech. Wait, what does she sing? Uh, I don't even... Some of these new, like, bet, some of these new people that, like, win awards, it's like... I get, the, I get that, like... She beat Noah Khan. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I, I get that the majority of the world has, like, much different interests than me, but yeah. when I'm watching these award shows and I've never heard of any of the people, I find it hard to believe that they're the best. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you probably wouldn't even know her songs, but... Um, I'm sure she's Like, great. she sings WAP. No, she's been <laughs> she's been writing music for, like, Ariana Grande, Doja Cat, Selena Gomez... Oh, really? Kendrick Lamar for, like, years. Or has Seems worked, like a la- weird last person them. to throw in there. Uh, she's worked with them. Yeah, no, she's no, I just mean like different. She's written for she's written for Selena, or, uh, Ariana Grande, NWA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she no, she's like thirty five. She's a mom, and she just has a very inspiring story. So best new artist at thirty five is pretty cool. I Didn't Jelly Roll her. win best new artist at like th- at like thirty five as well? I think at CMAs. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Dude, I ever um, tell you that time I met Jelly Roll? Yeah, this, have you heard this one? No, it's a funny story. So I was in uh, <laughs> like two years ago or something. I was in Nashville. I, I'd become, <laughs> I had a short stint as a family friend of the Vrabels. Yeah. Just Mike Vrabels, the, he just got fired actually, but head coach of the Titans. And they brought me out for a game. And uh, it was like before any like the internet stuff. I just like, had to, went to school with his son and I met him at a BC football game. And uh, anyway, they brought me out to Tennessee and I went to, I met up with his his wife Jen at like at the stadium and she like walked me up to their box and in like the elevator up to their box. It was just me, Jen Vrabel, and the, no, I, no offense to Jelly Roll, craziest looking guy I'd ever yeah. seen in my life. I mean, he's, he's, he's like huge guy, and then he has tattoos like all over his face. Mm-hmm. He's just like, that's a guy that you can't see and like. Well, also give her a timeline. Like this is like this is like when you would, we you the average person had probably heard of Jelly Roll that week. Nobody like no. This was like before. I swear to God, I didn't I didn't even think or hear about this guy again for like six months to a year because oh, really? he had been like he i think he'd been like a rapper he was and then he had like transitioned into country and so i guess he was just famous enough to where he could get a box at the titans but he wasn't like like he was yeah. nashville known but he, he had not gone global before yeah. that like none of his big hits had come out i don't think and uh so i just remember like it was just stuck in my like i remember jen being like yeah i think that guy's like a like a singer and like she said his name and i didn't ring a bell i completely forgot about it and then he started getting famous and i was like there is a 1,000% chance that's the guy I was in the elevator yeah. with because I've never seen another person look like that. That's cool. I like so. just discovered who he was maybe five months ago. I didn't. Yeah. What is what is he saying? Uh, somebody save me 
me from myself. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. I've been trying to yeah. find him. He had a speech the other day that, like, or not the other day, but at that CMA's thing that's, yes. like, makes you want to, like, run through a brick wall. <coughs> yeah. He also, um, what's the other one? He's like, um, and I only pray to God when I need a savior. I God walk alone. I <laughs> um, I'm gonna steal. Uh, the end, my the buddy just ends. <laughs> my, my buddy's little brother Connor has like a really funny like nonchalance about life that I yeah. think is cool. Um, I think that's back-to-back weeks where I've, the defining factor of the person that I'm doing is the word that I've used to describe them as nonchalance. We can go back and check, but I think you said beach vibes. Yeah, I've definitely, have, I definitely have said that I like someone's nonchalance. You said beach vibes, and then you went skiing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's funny to, I think it's funny to just go kind of like float through your day. Yeah, like he's still a freshman in college, and like every time I'm talking to him, he's just like doing nothing. That's awesome. You know what I mean? Or like playing Fortnite, which I think is. I really played funny. so much Fortnite my freshman year. You're like college. probably like he's probably like spanking it right now. Oh god, that's awesome. What is everyone gonna comment? Oh yeah, all oh, the ones were cracking me up this week. I know. It was like yeah. the fact about everyone's hometown. <laughs> I think it's your turn, Will. I I feel like I've picked the last like eight. I came up with a lot last week. Oh yeah, you did. Okay. Um. Comment, comment the exact time on your phone or computer when you're reading this, and uh, what's your background on your phone? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that your background, you your background paired with the the exact time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So All right. What would yours be right now? Yeah. <clears throat> Mine would be. Uh, a, it's like a drawing of a cow that's been standing in a thing so long that the grass has started to grow up its leg and then like a house in the distance that's also covered in moss or ivy or something and, it, and it's 231. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mine's the Chestnut Hill Reservoir 231. Yeah. I mean, how would you describe it? You try no, I just it. don't know where the hell that came from. I don't know. It's one of the craziest. Put it right here. Yeah. <laughs> wait, Lauren, I'll send you my screenshot right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Love you guys. See you next week. Love you. Bye.